So uh, just kind of going off of that note, um, what can a woman do if she wants to change into that woman, that, that, that magnetic woman, that amazing woman, that, that woman um, that has that type of beingness that's, that's attractive to men? What, what are some specific things that she could do in order to create that? Um, let me think about, so there are, the transformation into being that kind of woman, um, comes from all levels of expression. So before, I want to share like a few key tools, but I want to share sort of the spectrum of where women need to look to unlock all of these parts of themselves because it has to, they're all connected, but there's different ways in which we need to work with our physical body, with our voice, with our emotional range, um, with our shadow, and with our energy, and specifically with our, um, our sexuality and our sexual, the way that we wield our sexual power, and the way that we relate to our sexuality. So, um, one of the biggest, the first things I would take any woman to is to a place I call home in the body. And so the first place is to give yourself um, a physical, tangible anchor point that connects your body to your to that intangible nectar. Um, prenatal sexual essence that's really um, I believe is is the instruction booklet to our destiny it contains our desire when we're connected to that place we start to be able to live life from a much more guided um, effortless surrendered place where we're listening to our desire and we're more in tune with divine timing and we're not pushing so hard to make things happen so we can, this is not something that's exclusive to women because men also have this place. Um, so there's many ways that I like to guide women to womb space. And in, in Taoist practice and in, um, in Chinese medicine, it's, there's an energetic kind of well there called Lower Dantian. And it's literally a well that stores energy in our body. And it stores our prenatal energy. Either it can get stagnant in there or it can either move through our body to get refined. And so this is a like vital first step because so many women are so exhausted and getting adrenal fatigue and getting autoimmune disorders um, really because we're so disconnected from this sexual energy. This is like where our raw power comes from. This is where we really get actual fuel from. It's like this is where we can back our decisions and our actions with something that's real, something that we have an actual desire around versus forcing ourselves to do things we don't want to do. Um, so um, if you would like to close your eyes with me, um, the simplest way to do this is to bring your left hand to your lower belly. I'm thinking I can stand up. There's so much light in this room. So I like to bring my left hand to about two or three inches below my belly button. And then I put my right hand on top. And then I close my eyes. I feel my feet on the ground. And I breathe all the way down into my pelvis. If you're sitting, this is really nice because you can guide your breath all the way down so that it pushes all the way down to the base of your pelvis, your pelvic floor, uh, your yoni muscles, the labia. And just take a few moments to literally breathe all the way down. Like Most of us who have not connected into this place aren't breathing very well, let alone breathing all the way down to the base of our body which is another reason why we end up feeling disconnected and not home because the, the yoni and the pelvic floor muscles and the pelvic floor bones 
and even the anus, like all of those parts of our body, um, when they have proper attention given to them and proper care, make our, our human physical form feel so at home and so cared for and so loved. So the next thing I want you to do is imagine a golden light in the center of your pelvis, about two inches inside your pelvis and two inches down. There is a um, something called the pearl in Taoist um, tradition. That the pearl is like this dense ball of energy. And we I like to have that visual. It's like that is like this, you know, the densest part of me. And we want to call up that the energy in that pearl. And I like to take my hands and make circles around my belly, around my belly button. And what I like to do is use my hands to communicate to my body unconditional presence, unconditional love. Like um, unconditional love says, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere and I'm listening. And you can you don't have to be anything here. Like anything is okay. Whatever you have to say is fine. And the combination of attention in the womb space, in the Dantian, the hands on the body, like learning to use your hands to communicate unconditional presence, and then the stirring up of this energy really starts to drop your energy down from your intellectual analyzing mind, like down into your pelvis, and it starts to stir up that tingling, warm, um, the tingling warm vibration of that core essence 